two months ago, I made a video showing what at the time was my entire Alice in Wonderland collection. Now, just to be clear, I would strongly advise against watching that video. It was filmed directly after I had, like, severe, like, dental and gingival surgery. And just so you can very much tell, I did not look like my normal self. And also, it just, the, it just wasn't that good. I don't like any of my old videos, if I'm being honest. However, since that video, my collection has actually expanded quite a bit, especially in the book department. So I thought it could be a lot of fun to just show you some of the um, Alice Wonderland books I've gotten in the more recent months. Starting us off is obviously not a book, but it is a deck of very beautiful Alice Wonderland themed playing cards. It comes with a little rule book, and I really don't want to damage it, so I'm going to try to be careful here. And the cards themselves have these really, really gorgeous illustrations on them. Next, I got this absolutely stunning edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, illustrated by Camille Rose Garcia. I remember I first came across her illustrations for the story when I was about 11 years old, and I instantly fell in love, and I knew I wanted a copy that contained them so, so badly. And a few months ago, I was walking around at my local bookstore, and I found it in the classic section, and it was the last one, so I grabbed it as quickly as I could, and I'm so glad I did, because I'm so happy to have it in my collection. I think it's one of the most beautiful books I own. From the Macmillan Collector's Library, I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, as well as Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Both of these adorable little copies have a sprayed gold edges and illustrated, um, obviously illustrated, uh, color illustrations inside by John Tenniel. I bought this copy used and apparently didn't think it was worth it at the time to remove the price tag, but it's just this really cute Macmillan edition of both books with the Tenniel illustrations. Not too much to write home about, but I still really like it. This is one of my copies in French, so please don't expect me to pronounce the title without completely butchering it. But it looks like this, and like that, and it's got colored illustrations inside, of course, by a John Tenniel. Let me see if I can go ahead and find one. There we go. Very, very cute. This is a Read With Me Kids Classic Edition of Alice Wonderland. So it's written for children who are just learning to read or learning English. So it's got all the definitions of some of the more complex words in the book, but it's still all the original text. I don't think it has any illustrations, but I think the cover is really cute and I really like all the detail put into it. So that's this. Oh yeah, also I'm aware my fingernails look little horrifying, so just, just pretend like they don't. Do me a favor. By far one of the strangest covers I own. This is a children's classics book collection edition of Alice Wonderland, and the main edition I picked it up is because it is it contains illustrations by an artist who is not in my collection yet. Let me see if I can find one. Apparently there aren't too many illustrations, but here's one. I think they're really cute, and even though the cover is absolutely bizarre, um, and that's what it looks like on the back, by the way. I'm still happy to have it in my collection. I think it's kind of funny. Next are actually not books, but rather two beautiful journals. This one is, of course, a depiction of the famous uh, Cheshire Cat illustration by John, John Tenniel. And I think it's just so, so gorgeous. Oops. Um, and then this one just has a bunch of illustrations all over. I honestly think it looks sort of like Christmassy or holiday themed, what with the color palette and everything. Oh yeah, and that's the back with the playing cards. And it opens like this. And like I mentioned, it's just a journal with a little line of paper. I don't know if the camera picks that up. I haven't written anything in it yet, but if I do, I really hope it's something important because I don't want to use such a gorgeous journal on something like silly. And then this one is made in a very similar way. It opens up the same way and it's got the same lined yellow pages inside. And the back just looks identical to the front. Another very odd member of my collection. This is like a hyper abridged um, version of Alice Wonderland with these very simplistic illustrations. It's by Five Minute Storytime, retold by George Bridge, and illustrated by Asha Pierce. Pierce? Asha Pierce? I'm so sorry, I probably butchered that. And on the back it says, Alice has some amazing adventures in a place called Wonderland. Take five minutes to fall down the rabbit hole on a fantastic adventure. I mean, it was less than two dollars, how could I not get it? This little copy is by Priory Classics, and I don't believe it contains any illustrations, but it is still really cute. Another gorgeous book. I got this from Barnes and Noble, and it is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Other Stories by Lewis Carroll, illustrated by John Tenniel and Henry Holiday. It's got really nice quality paper and colored illustrations, and that's what it looks like on the back. I got this from the secondhand store, which is why it's a little beat up. But it is Alice in Puzzle Land, a Corellian tale for children under eight. Well, I'm over eight, but that's okay. And it's by Raymond Smullyan. And all the illustrations, I thought this was really funny. They're just like the ten illustrations, but like sort of sloppily traced. 
I'm not sure why they did that. I believe all the tenant illustrations have been public domain for quite some time now, but I guess they wanted to give it their own little personal touch, which, like, fair. I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't read this, so I'm not entirely sure what it's about, but it seems to just be like a general book of, like, puzzles. It's, like, written in a narrative form, it seems like, but I guess it's just, like, little riddles and stuff. But it's cute, I like it. A really fantastic find from the thrift store is this edition with illustrations by S. Michelle Wiggins. Not only is it absolutely stunning, but it also only cost a couple dollars, so I was really, really pleased when I found this. Another really neat thrifted find was this book, Songs from Alice, which takes um, already written songs from the Alice books and um, has them with original sheet music, which I thought was super cool. And it's also got some fun pictures. But some of the songs include The Little Crocodile, Old Father William, Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat, Pig and Pepper, The Lobster Quadrille, Tis the Voice of the Lobster, Beautiful Soup, The Queen of Hearts, Between Yourself and Me, Jabberwocky, Tweedledum and Tweedledee, The Walsh and the Carpenter, Humpty Dumpty, Little Fishers, The Lion and the Unicorn, A Sitting on a Gate, Queen Alice, Touch Your Eye, In Lady's Lap, and The Fish Riddle. And as you can see, they've all got complete sheet music, and I just thought this was really cool. I don't play any instruments, but it's still really, really neat to have. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, illustrated by Michael Foreman. This is just another fun find with some really neat original drawings in it. I like how I'm not even trying to hide the very large stack of books that's just building up inside my bathtub here. I actually got this one pretty recently, but it is the complete illustrated edition of Alice in Wonderland. So it's just got all sorts of illustrations from all kinds of different artists throughout the years, which I thought was just so, so cool because one of my favorite parts about collecting the books is collecting all sorts of different artists and all their interpretations on it, of it. So having them all in like one book is just super, super neat. And it was edited together by Cooper Edens. Last but not least is yet another French edition accompanied by several gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations. And of course, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye-bye! Also, I promise my hair does look good sometimes, just never on the days when I happen to be filming. So, love that for me. Alright. That's all I got.